Tell me about the role you played in your home. You have two sisters. I do. And you spoke to a bit about your mother, who I want, I want to focus on in a second. But what was the role you played in your family? Like, or, or what is the role you yeah. play in your family? Has uh, it changed? Middle child, two sisters. My parents are happily married after 30 plus years. So very happy to have them as beautiful, loving role models in my life. I was the kid who was very stereotypical performer kid, did the theater, did it dancing classes, loved recitals, loved perform. I performed in front of my, f when we went on big family vacations, I would make my cousin sing with me in front of the family. I was that kid <laughs> and uh, like it was terrible at sports. That kind of, like <laughs> this kid is meant to be an artist for sure. And I, began struggling with anxiety at a young age when I was like 11 as when I got really bad, which sounds so young thinking back on it. Like I really was feeling such complex anxiety and my parents had no idea where it was coming from. My older sister was bullied very badly and she struggled with her own issues. And so it was sort of like, very hard for my parents to understand why I was struggling so badly because there were no real external factors that made sense. Nothing was really adding up like, oh, you have you have friends, you have extracurriculars, you don't have any of these, any blaring issues. It's just, why are you so anxious? Why do you hate school so much? Why, why are you feeling this way? And so I felt a lot of isolation at that age from the kids around me to my own family it just felt very misunderstood and that's really when i started going to therapy mm. for the first time and i really don't remember a lot of the journey because i think you're just so young you only remember so many things but also i was in such a a weird tunnel vision stage of your life where you just are in fight or flight mode and you're not really taking in your surroundings or really living, you're just surviving. And so it's it's interesting to think back on those times because I barely remember. All I remember is crying before school every morning, begging my mom to let me be homeschooled because I couldn't stomach the idea of walking through the doors and sitting through an eight hour day with the people, the kids around me. Everything was a countdown constantly counting down how many hours left how many hours until this class is over when can i go to the bathroom so i can have five minutes to be alone when can this happen when can i do this blah 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 always counting down to something so very much not living my life it was always rushing through it one of the hardest things about mental health i feel is that it's invisible Mm. Like no one can see it. Yeah. No one understands it. Mm. And often people feel, well, you have this. So why would you be anxious? Yeah. It doesn't or add up. You have this. or then why would you experience depression? And it's hard when it's your own family. And, you know, when you're talking about being that young, it's probably when the mental health conversation wasn't as open as it is yeah, now. Not at all. Where I'm hoping today that at least parents are hearing about it are more open to the fact that they could be providing a beautiful, loving atmosphere at home and a child could still be struggling with something. And I think that's one of the hardest things for parents is that it's almost like they see it as a reflection of them. Mm. It's like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, what's wrong with my kid? What did I do? What did I do? Exactly. And, and that idea of what did I do stops us from thinking about the other and thinking about that person when that's really the moment where a child is saying, I'm struggling with something. And, and the ego inside all of us, not just parents, the ego in all of us goes, but no, 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 but that's not my fault. Like, I, or I, I don't want, I don't know this what This can't I, be right. This can't be right because I didn't do anything for that. And it sounds like your parents are wonderful, right? Like from what I'm hearing. Yeah. And so obviously for them, I can imagine it's hard. Mm 